Hello everyone, um, before we get started on this episode of SR, this very special episode of SRV TV, I do a stellar nan. Um, I just want to um, area a couple of things. There is no pre-show for this. This is this is the pre-show. This is the pre-show you're getting. Um, what happened was I was I was setting up with the laptop and my computer, my new laptop, and I got it set up, but then it came very frame rate. I spent the rest of the time trying to fix it as soon as possible. And it came down to the last minute where I couldn't get the issue fixed. So I unplugged it and hooked up my normal laptop, like our usual steps if you've seen our other SRB videos. Now, that would be the end of this story, but it isn't. So what happened was we set up here and then the video browsers were giving us green screen issues. And it wasn't displaying the video. It was, it was, we heard the sound, but wasn't displaying the video at all. So we wound up using my phone as well as Nancy's phone. So just a heads up, there is some buffering issues. There probably are some sound issues. We will, the, uh, considering the audio quality of the video, cell phones, you are, we may be talking over a lot of it. So apologies to that. I'm really sorry. I unfortunately um, couldn't get that fixed. Uh, but there are some buffering issues. So things may seem a little off, but that's only because on our end, because it just, you know, the worst thing you see is that stupid little wheel in the middle of the screen. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. We did manage to get the entire reactions. We still have a post show. We still talk about everything we saw here. There is stuff we missed. There is there is stuff we missed. So I'm gonna make sure um, uh, cor where there's some corrections here and there. There's probably a couple. Um, like we bring up the, the piranha plant reveal and we were a bit confused. We were a bit confused by like how it worked exactly. So I'm gonna make sure my brother puts in like a little correction about about that. Because I'm doing, I'm recording this immediately after we're done recording our reactions and the post show, so. Other than that guys, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy um, Nancy as well. She, it was nice having her here because she's the biggest Nintendo fan I actually know. And she's sitting in the corner over there so she knows I have to say, I'm, I'm re I have to unobjectively say this so I don't get murdered by her for Nintendo Switch. Um, but yeah, I, it was really cool having her here and hopefully I have her for more stuff down the road. Hopefully Nintendo has more tricks up their sleeve. So enjoy the video guys. Take care. Let's see if we can guess it based on audio. <laughs> Hello, this is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, and this is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of Super You don't have Nintendo fault you don't follow Nintendo? Oh my gosh, so far, that's Frazzle too. 72 <laughs> fighters, 74 if you count Pokemon Trainer S3. Our entire team has worked really hard. Is it really? Okay, there it is. Our entire team hey. has worked really hard. There we go, okay. Please With pick this them Nintendo up. Direct, we'll have revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Oh okay. shit! Are you ready for this? Yeah. Are we just going? <laughs> We're going right into it. I thought they'd just go show the video like cold. My little man. Ken. It's Ken. The first one, Ken. Yeah. Echo Fighter <laughs> Ken. Why is this happening? Ken. Nice. And of course it's, you know, Ruben. <laughs> Oh, that is cool! <laughs> oh! What? Oh, shit. What was that? Oh, he has his iconic, um, super. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, snap. Are they just gonna Ooh, wait, wait, no, 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 no! Hold on a sec. Incineroar! Oh shit! That, that they, but I know. They've huh? been. I know. People have been talking about why hasn't there been a Pokemon character for this generation in Smash re Ultimate revealed yet? That makes sense. Yeah. Because there's always been one for every Smash game. 
So Incineroar is this one. Ultimate. And they have to keep up with their like latest IPs too. Holy shit. And it's like perfect because he's like a wrestler cat. <laughs> kind of. Not really. <laughs> What? Oh, they're not gonna show us all at once. Or are right. Wait! Oh no, they're. Wait, hold on. 10. Oh, everybody else who wants to fight. <laughs> You're like, oh god. Cinderor. <laughs> and there it goes, adds to the screen. Ken Masters. Man, I want that as a poster. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Hailing from the Street Fighter series, Ryu's rival Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. Echo Fighter, yeah, that's what we were really expecting. I figured, yeah. Game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Yeah, it's true. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. Yes, son! <laughs> Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years, but the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Here's how he'll differ from Ryu. His heavy Shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his Hadoken is different too. And his Tatsumaki Senpai Of course. He's pretty much what he was in all the Street Fighter games. <laughs> Hellwheel. Focus attack. Nice. We've included lots of Ken's signature moves, such as his famous kicks, which change based on your command inputs. He's a bit faster than Ryu, and we've also incorporated other tweaks from recent titles. Just like Ryu, he has two final smashes. Of course. First, the spinning uppercut, Shin Shin Yuken. Yuken. We've made it look flashy, as it is in the Versus series. That's how it looks, too. <laughs> a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shibujin Red Yuken. Let me, let me switch to our my phone. Now for I think it's because I'm not on your Wi-Fi. Incineroar. No, it's not that. It my Wi-Fi is not great. But it mainly uses pro wrestling moves, and as such, its throws are a bit more powerful. Like a true pro wrestler. There you go. You got a wrestler on the Smash. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. Its neutral special is called Darkest Lariat. It was Incineroar's signature move to the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Perhaps it's something of a red cyclone. Its up special is Cross Chop. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. This attack can be very effective when they bounce back your way. Press the button up is just the right zone. Be careful. If you're too early, you'll do a back body drop. Ah, okay. And you'll fail. Nail the timing and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. Its down special is Revenge. When damaged, Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, <laughs> powering up his <laughs> next attack. That's Incineroar's idea of a counter attack. And its final smash, Max Malicious Moonsault. Max Malicious Moonsault. Got a little bit of alliteration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. This is the initial fighter select screen. Wait. There were only two left? The first, but there were only the two left? As the original Nintendo 64 game. What? What? Once you unlock them all. Huh. Whoa. <laughs> that means like this. Wow, so there was only two more character reveals, and that was it. Incineroar and Ken. Interesting. I hope you'll enjoy we had to have known Ken was coming, though. I mean... On the roster. I mean... I guess that leak wasn't real. Nope. <laughs> oh, the amiibos. Smash amiibos. <laughs> that really looks nice. Huh. Only two. It feels like when you said that's it, everybody's heart dropped like five, like five sizes today. You may recall oh, that cool. creating Amiibo in parallel with the game. Here's a look at the new Amiibo figures. Well, since it's the last Smash Direct, you would think that would be like 
a lot more than that. Gaming icons class. We determined the collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. What? Honestly, they were really difficult to develop too. That said, the Super Smash Brothers series is one massive crossover. No project. trophies. We want to create something more. Wow. No trophies. From a variety of video game worlds. Honestly, they don't need trophies for replayability, though. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Spirits. They were really cool to look at, though. Oh, spirits. This is... Everybody confirmed it. Cool. And I don't mean the spooky kind. What? <laughs> to put it simply, these spirit characters will lend a helping hand to your fighters, powering them up in battle. So, wait, what? So, like, assist trophies, but... In the Not Super really? Smash Brothers okay. series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of the imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many beloved characters lose their physical form. I see you, Dr. Wily. All of them, except the fighters, are turned into spirits, unable to... This is the story the aspect. World. This is a spirit. Fighters can join forces. Wait, that's the dude, Master Miller from Miller Solid. There's a massive amount of wildly different spirits. So this is how they're replacing the trophy Zero. system. <laughs> yeah, this is how they're replacing the trophy system. Standard spirits are dubbed Yeah, that's how they're doing it. So there's no trophies, but you get a unique kind of trophy that helps power up your fighter. Well, it's almost like they're familiars for like a bit. So this is tra this is the game's train what card system. <laughs> That's what it is. Well, they had stickers before where it was like. Yeah, but it was collectible stickers. This is yeah, apparently. Yeah, but you still put them on in like the subspace mode. In some but cases, to power them up. Fighters become extremely powerful. Really? Yeah. Oh, I oh I never did that in Smash Brawl or um Wii U. Slots. You can assign them support spirits. Interesting. While primary spirits enhance fighter stats, ah. support spirits lend them additional skills. Once the primary spirit and support spirits are set, your fighters all powered up. The main way to acquire spirits is to win spirit battles. Tell us something you hawk a show. variety of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Choose the one you want to battle for. As timers and everything. You'll face off against huh. the fighter whose abilities and personality are kind of sort of similar to the opposing spirit. Yeah, that's what this is. I feel like that's their way of adding more characters without adding more. Well, that's what the original trophy system originally did was add characters without necessarily adding them to the roster. Here are some examples of other battles you Just that. Gordo. Cool. Valley Gurus appear from nowhere. Oh, each one has its own unique abilities. Wow. Well, that just sticks you over. Gutsman. Ah. What does he do? <laughs> Your Orsage one shows off his throwing skills. That was his power. He had like a block and then throw. It, 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 yeah. A Wayne. Wayne. Did you say not fair? <laughs> what? Not fair! <laughs> You're doing nothing to me. <laughs> Imprisoned. Wow. Oh yeah, Skyward Sword. Oh, the one the one where lipstick item comes from. Oh yeah. Bow with a black flower blooming over your head. Where the, the, the I am Rose came from. Able Sisters. Animal Crossing. You know, that mobile game's still doing really well. Yeah, I know. But people are now excited just for the Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah, of course. Hal Emmerich. <laughs> I love it. It's really your solid for Hal, too. A Dr. Dodge is protected. By a giant rod. Oh, so so for this one, our giant rod protects you. Like with the sisters, three of Sonic protects you. Bullet Bill. The punch shoots across the screen as Bullet Bill. Huh. And people 
like complain that items are like too much of a thing to deal with. Hit the puppet fighter. This looks pretty fun. Spirit, I it's it's cool. It is. Um, it's really nice way to like implement the trophies the the without having shield trophies. Over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. <laughs> hmm. Primary spirits have strength based on their type. Attack is yeah. Choose your Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> shield and shield is well, they're not really it's elemental. But yeah, this just reminds me of um, Kingdom Hearts Mobile when they have the same setup. Oh, jeez. <laughs> when you encounter traps like poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to prep yourself with an appropriate support spirit. I don't think there's a story mode. Aside from what the, the little backstory gave, I don't think there's a story mode. The way you yeah. said they had to like throw out freaking um trophies. With spirits on your huh. side, there are all kinds of things you can do. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. <laughs> Kinda like the amiibos. When you could like level up your amiibo fight. Thank you, that's what it is. It's like the amiibo tra special trade abilities mixed with like a trophy system. Ah. Also Just like the Kingdom Hearts mobile game too, <laughs> you can do that. To say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And by combining these cores, it's a nice way way of saying, "Oh, you're weak." <laughs> That's a, <laughs> it's a nice way of saying that you're weak. <laughs> you can also train spirits at dojos and the gym. Really? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> These seem like unlikely teams of characters, but each team could be somebody's dream come true. <laughs> Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them this do their thing. This almost feels like a grindy mobile game. <laughs> That's what it is. What did you say? Certain Kingdom Hearts mobile game, massive. you can pretty much do the same thing. That's all this is. It's a trading mobile trading card game. Wait, that was Gravity Land, I think. What? I wasn't. Cool. I, I got distracted. To power up amiibo figure players. <laughs> That's what this is. You must bid them farewell, but you can repeat the process multiple bid times. Bid them farewell. <laughs> nope, you're weak. Or like it's even one Pokemon one Go, where you can turn them into like candies or whatever. Series, but just how many there you go. <laughs> huh? Final Smash Meter. Whenever you fight against the spirit, the final Smash Meter is enabled. Some spirits can help you fill up your gauge at a faster rate. Oh, that's Yoshi's final smash! Aww. It's it's a nod to his um intro from to the intro from Melee. The spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters. I didn't know that. I no, haven't seen Yoshi's final smash yet. You can enjoy many unbelievable combinations and situations. I wonder how many are changing. Probably like almost all of them. Oh yeah, they they brought that up in the previous one. Ally spirit teams is displayed here. Of course, stronger spirit teams hey, look. make it easier to defeat. It's the snipper clips. Eh. The more your power so nice to see all the, the less you'll IPs rewarded. together. It pays to have a fair fight. While assembling a team, press the Y button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Mm. Keep that in mind. Also fight against other players who are using spirits. Given the way spirit types interact in battle, think carefully when building your team. Or balance your strengths in a two-on-two -two battle. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh the game lets you battle together with friends via local awesome. or take the fight to the world with online play. To connect to Nintendo Switch consoles, press the DR button to pull up the dashboard and select local wireless. Online. There's no longer a need to separate the online modes into for fun and for glory. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. Probably like a point system or level battle, system. You can set your preferred rules. There you go. It's a matchmaking system. That's what they're adding. A basic matchmaking system. You quickly select your favorite play style. Before battle, one player's preferred rules will be chosen at Yeah. 
That's what it is. They're adding a, 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 st a standard matchmaking option. That's, that's, that's good. That's really good. I think it really suits it, yeah. If possible, the matchmaking system will find players with similar preferences and link them up for a battle. Oh, that's back. Global Smash Power is being factored into matchmaking, but it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, yeah. means you've got more points than 99,999 Yeah, players. it's the same explanation for it from Wii U version. Mine was never high because I barely played so online. <laughs> Same Try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. Oh, you can actually By the way, see you match up. A GSP score for each fighter. Fighters you haven't used yet will be assigned a placeholder GSP based on the highest score you've set with one of the other fighters. Mm. If you're repeatedly self-destruct on purpose, you can face a penalty, like being disconnected. <laughs> oh! Can't be salty. Oh, you can't be salty. Oh. It's very important. For this reason, the matchmaking system will prioritize shorter distances between. That's good. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. It it to get this promise a better connection. Yeah. Connection as stable as possible. A wired LAN cable is recommended. Oh, I remember those. Wow, you literally just strapped into the hub. Wireless and online battles. Elite battles. Once your global smash power is high enough, oh. you can enter elite battles. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good. Yeah, you're you're good. After the game releases, you may adjust the game balance. <laughs> I've seen this. Yeah, I seen this for um Killer Instinct did this, where you you did a certain amount of battles. And you start ranking up, and the better your ranking is, then you get into special elite status, and you take on certain only turn on certain opponents. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like your trophy after you decapitate them, pretty much. Try to collect lots of smash tags. Short messages. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be pre yeah preset ones. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. Let's see if there's just. Only preset. Yeah, it said preset. Preset messages. They don't want it. High energy move that body was the last one. You can enjoy other modes. They gotta control the salt. <laughs> okay, that's. Can't have you cursing on a Nintendo system. Fuck them. <laughs> Spectator. Oh, spectator mode. Nice. Nice. Glad that's well, coming back. Well, if you wanted to do that, you could just go on Twitch. True. Former two-player team. Oh yeah, co-op. Cool. Okay. I mean, that would be like amusing for like a party when you just you put it on the background. Online, you can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can yeah. fight against your friends. <laughs> well, that's, that's what they're doing online. All the features you used to in other fighting games, they're in here, they're in here now. Well, it's Instead. about the attack. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. A phone! <laughs> yeah, yeah, all I know. I don't even know if I'll all get Nintendo Switch online. You can voice chat with the, with the people. Yeah, you can do that all the other stuff. That's a feature of their phone app. I know, but then you can say fuck! <laughs> Exclusive service. Ah, cool. Hmm. Shadows assist trophy. He's deconfirmed, <laughs> folks. Do you know which They're all crying a single tear. Hey, Color TV Game 15 is going back, which is Pong. Yeah. Oh, oh, disappointment time. Who is it? I, um. Oh, it's one of the chicks from Fatal Frame. Made in a Blackwater. Well, this must be more assist trophies. Yeah, no, that's what you said. This is more assist trophies. <laughs> They're crawling away. <laughs> yeah. Time for disappointment. Oh, Isaac! Oh! 
Oh. Dean confirmed. That is a fun RPG, though. I got. That say. is a cool. I still. Oh, they add more to it. Black Knight. Um. Um. Fire Emblem. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew. We totally, knew <laughs> we totally knew that. We totally knew that. We totally knew that. Yeah. <laughs> the swamp. Thwomp. Oh, an actual thwomp. There's actual thwomp this time. He's pissed. Look at him. <laughs> so, oh, D confirmed too. The guy Spring from man. Arms. Spring man. Spring man from Arms D confirmed too. Wow. Is this trophy pretty much deconfirmation? Oh, all of them are. Oh, Wiley's assist trophy! <laughs> Wiley's an assist trophy! <laughs> and you can knock his block off. Oh, they oh, paid for your forgiveness! Oh, the flies are here for Mario Paint! That's Kirby's Dreamland right there. Yeah, they. Yeah, that's one of the stages they're bringing from the 3DS version of Smash for 3DS. For yes. mm. Let's see all this week. Tiki! Oh. Okay, turns into a giant dragon. They're dragons? Right, right. <laughs> Vince. Oh, from that um art game from Nintendo. Art Academy. Thank you. Art Academy Nintendo. series. Well, I think we just have to wait and they'll just like, hey, this guy. Yeah. Dial! Oh, who he is? This is musical with everything. I love that. <laughs> he literally turtles. He literally turtles. <laughs> he starts the match turtling. <gasps> <laughs> Akira from Virtual Fighter! What even? What? It's not even current Akira, it's like original Sega Saturn Akira. <laughs> it's a Kyle's theme though. <laughs> the total number of assistants is sister. now 59. Actually, they outnumber the Pokemon this time. Wow. Assist trophies who can be KO'd Aww. can also be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before they're KO'd. That way, you won't lose a point to the other player. A point? Now, I'd like to cover a variety of other features in the game. Oh, be right back. If you want to review the controls or game modes, press the ZR button to open the dashboard and look in here. There are all kinds of helpful guides to check out. Um, uh, give me a Century Smash may look familiar to veterans. It feels great to keep smashing enemies off the screen, doesn't it? You can play on many different stages. Hey, sorry. You can choose the music, too. Anything new? In previous games, you had to unlock every fighter before playing All-Star mode. But now, you can play it right out of the box. The currently available fighters will appear endlessly. Oh, this is the multi-man fighter. You can save the replay data of your battles. Cool. And now, you can create videos with it. Nice. Got to have it for social media. There's mm -hmm. also a menu where you can read those quick tips and tricks you see during loading screens. When viewing them, you can sort by category or fighter. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is the health area or section. Complete challenges to earn rewards. This time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. Press the button to check out each picture. Enjoy. That must be what they're doing with their trophy. Yeah. The For like menu gallery your battle history. There are five different options. You can view battle data separately for offline and online play. Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. Nice. Sell your, sell your opponent's soul. Gold can be exchanged for music <laughs> tracks, spirits, and items for spirits mode. If you're collecting music, I recommend visiting the shop to find the ones you want, instead of just relying on challenges. Thank you so much. You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. This one game supports 11 languages. I know this is very important to some of you. For example, the voices of Pokemon are different in several languages. Oh, nice. That's good attention to now, detail. Now you can actually switch the languages of your characters. Also specific to each language. 
You can actually... That is cool. Yeah. Did that say bow to me? <laughs> That's a bow to me. separate settings for brightness and sound. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. We've implemented a radar that displays the location of yeah. fighters. That's changes not settings, middle. including size. While it's limited to wireless and online play, you can make your teammates semi-transparent so you don't get distracted. <laughs> If you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Sometimes a player is just too good, and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If hmm. that's the case, try using this feature. When custom balance is adjusted, a symbol will be displayed. Of course, this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. Of course, Mii Fighters. You can customize your Mii Fighters and change their outfits. Hmm. In addition to the voice options, there are a variety of outfits to choose from. Speaking of me fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in. Mm, let's see what we got. Let's see who else gets deconfirmed. <laughs> They're all gonna be deconfirmed. They're Giga Clan. That's pretty neat. Squid Kids, but then Squid but that, Kids. But that just, I guess it's the blue between Why two not? versions. <laughs> yeah, they are the two versions. Damn, Ribbon, confer Ribbon Girl heavily deconfirmed. Chibi Robo. Aww. Ray Mark Three. Looks familiar. Oh, uh, Custom Robo? I think that's what it's from. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? They put me? in the Labos. Are you kidding me? Labos. Wow. Oh my goodness. Anyway, there's something I should point out. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can find. Oh. DLC, DLC, DLC. Yeah! Oh! DLC. DLC. But there are even more post-launch. Post-launch! God, let me write, woman! Implemented a huge roster of fighters. I have to write DLC on my paper. God damn. We're leaving the opportunity. Yeah! Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Is, are you this abusive during Nintendo Direct? <laughs> no! I'm just excited, okay? I know I'm this of you. We're doing new scratch from scratch. And we're not talking about Echo Fighters. <gasps> They're not going to be just Echo. Developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, okay. and multiple music tracks. That's fair. The price for each set is expected to be oh. five ninety nine. Season pass? <laughs> hey! <laughs> the fighters pass. How much? Five fighters, five stages, and five, five more fighters pass. coming. When creating something like the Fighters Pass, ideally, we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. However, please allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal its contents. How much? I hope only those who if they're Okay, so if they're like six per, they're about six bucks per, right? The price is $24.99 okay, thank you. for all five cents. <laughs> no, I was wondering about that. If finally confirm the development of this DLC, they don't tell you. please know that we'll be working really hard on it. He's Come so on. tired. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he just had to take a break. <laughs> Never ask him okay. for anything again. Includes. Okay. Um. Oh! Oh! Rex D confirmed. I just love seeing the word D confirmed. It's like. Nope, well, they, nope. they showed the last two at the beginning, so I don't know why he's saying that. <laughs> Well, remember, even when they said Mewtwo was going to be DLC, they still showed him, you know? So five more are coming. Oh, even adding more um, stickers. <laughs> Not stickers. Spirits, sorry. 
It may take around a year or so to finish releasing all the DLC. That, that sounds about right. But well, you can spread note, it out. Let me a time offer. We're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet, but I want to give you a special sneak peek. Don't let it be a, like a pre-order bonus character. <laughs> I mean, let it be a new character, but... Okay. Okay, everybody's fatigued. <laughs> Mario's gonna do some shit. Um, okay. PD Piranha. No. No. Oh my god. Are you. Wait, what? The Piranha Plant is a character. It's a pre order what? bonus character. Is it. What? What? Is what? Is a joke? Um, Are you kidding? They're showing on an official direct, Nancy. No, I don't no, think it's, it's, it's April Fool's Day. I, yeah, April Fool's Day what? came with quite a few number of months early. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's a pre-order bonus character. And he turns into one of his bigger four. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's right. Piranha Plant will take root in Are you Super sure? Smash Brothers Ultimate. And not as an assist trophy, but as an actual fighter. What? It can spit poison. <laughs> it can <fight> balls. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? This tricky character is full of surprises. Oh my no. god! <laughs> this is a joke, right? It, his final smash is turning to PD Piranha. Piranha Pet is scheduled for Oh, he's cute though. It won't be ready until after the game launches. So it's a pre order bonus character. Oh, okay. Wait, it's just. So wait, no. Remember, Piranha Plant is a free, limited time offer. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold so wait. registration process to receive it. Wait. I hope you'll consider. Wait, so. Why is game by? We're also creating an amiibo. Wait. Wait, what? Okay, that part was confusing a bit. It was, right? I'm not the only one. You'll be able to pre-purchase the game after finishing but why, though? I hope you'll go to Nintendo but you had, you have to register and, like, forget. the My Nintendo thing and then get the gold points and I'll whatever. Us. Before we go. <sighs> wow, I'm really bamboozled by that. <laughs> On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on Oh, for the tour. Yeah. Participants will have a chance to try out all 74 fighters. So all right, let's go to New York. To no, fuck no. <laughs> And more. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. But before we go... Have it on a faithful day. I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing like what we... Oh, adventure mode! Space Emissary. That said, what exactly caused all That's what the story mode is. Their bodies and transform into spirits. I'll show you how it all begins and leave the rest to your imagination. Well, well, zero dies all okay, the time, so <laughs> please look forward to the game's release. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Don't let a single one get away. Okay. No, they're saying the backstory of why the spirits have lost their bodies. Yeah, I know, and they're saying on this, the landscape from They're Rome. all hands! They're all hands. Oh, shit, not that motherfucker again! Are you fucking kidding me? We each need to take down about ten. Still your fears. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. So... If there was an event... Oh, oh! Oh, damn. Is this a, it feels like a continuation to the story from Brawl. Like, that clearly looked like Taboo. Oh, fuck! Oh! Hey, now run the light! Bayo's dead! 
was it was slow. Well, oh! Sonic. <laughs> oh! Not even the ink could save him. Oh damn! This is fucking dark, man. This is dark as hell. Snake. Snake trying to hide <laughs> in the box. Snake trying to hide in the box. That was beautiful. He said it's more about fun than story, oh, but. Oh, Kirby. Come on, Kirby, survive. Uh, no, he's not gonna make it. Oh. Uh, what? He just exploded. No, no. I don't think that's what happened. Teleported. Yeah, I don't think what that's what happens. Holy shit! Taboo came back and he's fucking pissed. He went so fast, he, he had managed to escape. Or he could have teleported. There's actually lyrics to this song! I noticed! <laughs> It's up to Kirby to save the day. Of course. We're fucked. <laughs> like, no, no, no. I say, I'm just saying, of course it's Kirby. Wow. Oh, that, that's how they create clones to fight you. That's how they... Wow. And that's how the spirits are implemented into the story. Yeah, so he started as Kirby, who went fast enough to vanish before the entire world was destroyed. So it does have an adventure mode. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that's pretty. You surf! <laughs> Poor Shantae got, just got deconfirmed. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like there's multiple different unique maps you have to travel to, which are the different lands on the, of the world. And yeah, it looks like some form, form of taboo. What's it called? Is it called something? If you remember, World Subspace, of Light. Subspace was like Mario and Kirby at the start, too. Well, no, 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 no. I'm, I, yeah, I know that. I mean... That's it. Um, you're always amazed. You're always amazed by Nintendo stuff. I think a lot of, like myself, and a lot of people will be saying, there aren't more fighters. But then the DLC <laughs> thing makes sense. Yeah, because the leaked little DLC list list was like Banjo was one of them. Um, I can't remember all of them. Oh, um, the Rhythm Head and guys. The chorus boys. The chorus boys. There's a few others. I'm Mom I'm trying fighter. to I'm trying to ignore the list, but, but the leak, yeah. Um, I don't I don't know if you can necessarily trust that leak, but no no I'm not trusting the leak either. I'm not, I'm not really I'm still not trusting the leak after what we just saw. Hell, that leak could still be true, but how is it true for something he clearly says is like months off, you know? And the other thing, where was the pro where, where was the piranha plant in that that leaked image? No piranha plant. I'm honestly like really glad that that leak was not true because it's nice to be surprised and not oh, have no. things spoiled oh. for you. Like Ken, Ken was obvious. I think even before the leak came out, Ken was obvious. Ken from yeah. Street Fighter being in was obvious. It like, was a smart move for them. Though, so though I'm sad for the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog fans in memoriam for Shadow being deconfirmed as a, for confirmed as an assist trophy. Man, that, that felt messed up. So yeah, we got, um, to start out, we got um, Ken and Incineroar. Because during I brought up house, I was watching some early predictions, and somebody brought up, where's this game's Pokemon generation character? Like, the first one had Pikachu and Jigglypuff. The second one had um, Pichu. The third one had, um, third one was Brawl, right? Third one was Brawl, and it had, like, Lucario. Uh, then there was um, Wii U, and that had um, Greninja. And so where was this one? And that's what we got. We got Incineroar, 
which is a good fit, to be honest. Compared to the other two, I don't see really as full-on fighters for this. The other two Pokemon fully evolved forms. And so I've always seen it, because I saw him, and, oh, it's a professional wrestler and yeah. stuff. And that's cool to see him in there. That's nice. And he has all of his abilities, like a lot of wrestling related ones, a lot of ones where the timing was off. Oh, where like if your timing's off, you'll get a different move and stuff like that. Uh, what did you think about the two only two character announcements? Well, I, th I think it's very smart on Nintendo's part because every uh, character, for the most part, is tied to something they're still making games for, and it's, yeah. it's good to keep that fresh. Right. All right, all right. So what do you think about Incineroar, based off what you saw? Um, I have not played Pokemon in a while, but the last generation did interest me because... It was all Hawaiian. It, it. Yeah, the the not had a lot of throwbacks with like the Lolan version versus the like original. It it looked really fun. Yeah, um, yeah. Then up next was the Smash Amiibo, which they pretty much all said are all are coming in early 2019. Um, that's yeah, pretty much already come. Yeah, yeah, they're all coming in tw early 2019. Which get your shelves ready. Get your yeah. Get, <laughs> make some room for more Amiibos, folks. Um, no, tr the first big shocker is no trophies, no collectible trophies at all, at all whatsoever. Because this was their, because the collect, well, we'll get into spirits, but the, remember, originally collectible trophies were just like, here's the character, they're not playable, but we did, we did do recognize them for where, what they brought to their se respective series slash franchise and stuff like that. But he, I guess he says, Korean Sakurai is like, it's too much time, it's too much development. To make all those models. To make all of them. And considering how many characters are in here, how many franchises it's total. It's like... Yeah. I, I'm fine with the no trophies. I'm, like I said, I was shocked, but I'm fine with it. Especially when we got afterwards, so... There's plenty of other things to complete other than just, like, so, getting a gallery yeah. like that. So we got spirits. That's... Somebody already confirmed aliens. that. I'm kidding. <laughs> Honestly, it is aliens if we if we factor in the adventure mode, but we'll get to that in a sec. Um, yeah, spirits mode, which is this game's. King, well, we made we made a reference to like mobile trading card uh, fighter fighting games. It's that, but with the sprinkle of the collectible trophy system. So all those collectible trophy things, they're available, but in sticker form instead. I know they're spirits. I know they're spirits. <laughs> I know you're going to correct me saying, but let's be honest, they're stickers. They it, are stickers. It makes it feel a lot more like an RPG where you can like equip no, different items that, and like level them up. That's what, I was, that's what I was telling you about Kingdom Hearts Mobile. That's the whole game. You collect cards of certain characters. You can either, you can, everything they brought up, I can easily tell you is in the Kingdom Hearts Mobile game. So like, you can use the card, of course you can use the cards for special abilities and stuff like that for your character. You can, you can equip smaller cards, two cards to enhance that card. You can evolve those cards, you can evolve certain cards, you can power up those cards as well without evolving them, and you can use them throughout battle, and you have specific traits and specific stat boosts they give you. And that's what, and I wasn't even talking about this. That's Spirits Mode. That's what Spirits Mode is, basically. Um, of course, I'll, I'll get to this, um, which was the Adventure Mode, which incorporates the Spirits Mode. Because the whole backstory is that some entity showed up, which we see is like a whole crap ton of master hands and what looks like an evolved it's form. It's an invasion! Yeah, it looks, <laughs> looks like a whole group of um, like master space hands. Space invaders? <laughs> Technically they were. Technically they were. So they have a whole group of um, master hands and it looks like an evolved form of um, Taboo from uh, Brawl's Adventure Mode Subspace. So, and that's what they're in there, is that you fight these spirits and go through the story to progress. He says it's not focused on the story, it's more focused on the fun aspect of it, unlike Subspace, which that one was actually dark too. <laughs> but I think ugh, Spirits Mode, what are your thoughts on Spirits Mode? I think it's great because it offers something for like people who want to like really grind and like fine-tune their characters to make themselves really power powerful but it also uh, appeals to people who are more casual and they just want to have fun trying different combinations so I think it's like a perfect like balance between that it's like really exciting I'm sure 
some people will be like, oh, no items, final destination, I don't want any spirits and stuff. So, but, like, I'm sure I, they have, like, an option yeah, to turn that on. Yeah, they, own, so. like, first thing, yeah, they already confirmed all online will not have, will not let you use spirits. Um, and also that, um, what was it? Yeah, I think you can easily turn them off. I mean, it's like, it kind of reminds me of that crystal system for Street Fighter Cross Tekken. But, like, I, you know, I, as long as I have them stable, that's fine. I'm, for me, spirits... It's a cool it's concept. Really fun. I think it's awesome. a cool concept. It's a nice way of easily doing a collectible trophy system without having to put too much effort into it. Because all you're really doing, well, you know Photoshop, so all you're really doing, you am I wrong? All you're really doing is Photoshopping, pretty much. All the different character models from all the different franchise games. And to be honest, isn't that easier than programming and fully 3D designing trophies as it is? Yeah, it's, it's a way of having a lot more characters than the set of fighters they already have and still like having yeah. like an homage yeah, to like all, everyone else from their similar series. Yeah, and like it's, uh, yeah, and I think it works. And we already know how much Sakurai puts into all of his games he works on, hence why like Kirby's the one we're going with because you know, you know, he, Sakurai is the one who gave, more or less gave birth to Kirby. Um, yeah, you can you can tell that's that's the real reason why Kirby's only hey, hey, left. Hey, you, hey, you were telling me during it that, well, technically Kirby survived in, in subspace. You were one of the first characters you played as. I'm like, yeah, at the, that's at the right. beginning, you're like, Mario Kirby. But I, overall, I think, you can agree with me, Spirits Mode... Hey, he can, Sakurai can do whatever he wants. <laughs> I think Spirits Mode... That man needs a nap. Well, like, well, for real. Yeah, seriously, he needs a nap. <laughs> That's, it's funny, during the fight, right before the, he talked more about fighter fight, he's like, just taking a break here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but overall, I think Spirits Mode, it, I think it's a very unique way they did it. I am still sad. I will, I will not deny I'm still sad we're not getting a collectible trophy system. But at least with spirits, you do have some form of collectible characters from the, their, their respective franchises and series. I'm fine with that. The stat boosting thing, uh, with the whole like whole mobile game stat boosting thing, the whole all the aspects like a challenge mode, getting better, more cards, better cards. I'm I I, I won't mind collecting them, but I don't necessarily think I will ever use spirits. What about you? Will you ever use the spirits for what they are? Not just the collectible aspect, just the you know stat boost aspect. I mean I'll definitely try it out. Oh, yeah, I, don't same know. Here. I, I don't know if I'll stick with it or not, but uh, I think it would be interesting just to see like the wide range of effects because we got kind of like a sneak peek of, oh, this one does this and this one does that. It'd be nice to like see at least the range of like what they can do. It ca almost kind of reminds me of uh, back in the day where they had those modes where you could like start your character as like really big or really small yeah. or have like a Oh yeah, special like, smash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have so that So it, like, it kind of reminds me of that in a, like a little way. Right. Okay. Um, oh, we noticed Yoshi's final smash. I, I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, you've never seen it, right? Is Yoshi's final so. smash? Yeah, it's a nod to the original melee um opening the stampede. sequence. This the Yoshi stampede, and that's pretty cool. I forgot. Are they gonna kill Simba's father? Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna bring that up. <laughs> You just had to be negative Nancy. Nelly, na no, no, negative Nancy. So, um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Your show smash was pretty cool. Um, so, the online mode, I brought this up during it, but the online mode is pretty much, they're adding, they're making it what was, what all, most fighting game online mode is supposed to be. So, you got your standard matchmaking. You have your, like, anti, oh, we call it anti saltiness system, but you know what I mean. They have an anti saltiness system. They have a ranking system. They have... A new kind of elite battle ranking system, pretty much. Where if you, I believe they said if you fight a certain amount of people or get a certain amount of rank, you become part of this elite status and can fight other elite players as well. Yeah. Um, I think um, at some point there was a turning point where Nintendo decided to take the fighting game community seriously. Yeah. And this is a testament to how far they've come from. Oh, we just want to have fun, you know, kind of thing. It's not to say that they haven't had uh, competi like official competitions before. I mean, look at E3. They used to have the Nintendo World Championship, but they never really took fighting games ser uh, seriously to the level that yeah. other uh, right. companies have. Yeah. And it's I think it's great. Like, I'm not really big into fighting games, but it's, like, so amazing to me to see it, like, a 
like Evo cover on ESPN and stuff like that. Yeah, like, no, really yeah, cool. you could tell you could you could tell that from the um, was it the second Smash Direct or oh well, yeah, second Smash Direct to where like you saw all these things that like casual Smash fans won't care about, but then like you have like rule set up, you can apply your own unique rule set. You can have it to where Final Smash Mirror, no Final Smash Mirror. Um, like one-on-one -on -one battles, you do more damage. What was it? Yeah, you do more damage on one-on-one -on -one battles, right? Yeah, you do battle more more one-on-one -on -one fights and stuff like that. So yeah, they're incorporating that, and you can see that they're incorporating even more into the online system. So again, there's no more for far for glory because now they're actually adding a basic standard matchmaking system. Even they're um, even adjusting how you find other fighters to where they say you're you're probably not gonna get the guy down in California, but like you will get a match. You know, we're gonna base it on like where you are, where you are at, pretty much. And I think that's cool. Yeah, to, to put it simply, that's really cool. They're uh, just pretty much giving us a very standard online fighting game. So, I mean, online, sorry, online fighting game mode. And that's good. That works, it works for um, casuals, and it works for um, pro players as well. The elite. <laughs> I found it hilarious how you have to- Oh my to, god, that name though. <laughs> I found it hilarious how you have to plug in that LAN adapter thing from your Wii U, the Wii U one. They just, had something similar to that for like the Wii, like with the little box thing that you plug in the landline to. Yeah, I find it hilarious. That thing looks like just like a weird extension of the the Switch Hub, you know? Oh, that was it was hard. but that's cool. You can you, they are confirming. Yeah, you can still play in LAN. Call me tits. So <laughs> okay, so next up for the best connection. No, no, yeah. Let me get into the anti salty thing because that was hilarious. So you can't self destruct if you self destruct. I'm you'll be loser. you'll be flagged apparently. You know, for what it looks like you'll be flagged, which that's interesting. And how and people are gonna abuse that? I know for a fact. So yeah, we talked about elite battles. That's pretty neat. Like I said, it reminds me of the Killer Instinct. They have similar rankings. They have a similar ranking system, pretty much. That's pretty cool. Um, let me see. Um, oh, um, what were the new Smash trophies that uh, assist trophies that stood out to you? Aside from the ones that got deconfirmed. Because <laughs> we got Shadow There's deconfirmed. So many. We got Shadow deconfirmed. We got both main arms characters deconfirmed. Oh, the Fatal Frame. That oh, one. Well, you, you keep saying deconfirmed, but I well, mean, I mean if, you, if you look at the Me Fighters who were like Splatoon 2 characters, but then there's like Squid Kids in well, the game. Well, let, let me rephrase that. I mean, like, I mean, deconfirmed for now. Um. <laughs> Like, honestly, we've seen assist trophies being upgraded to actual fighters. Like, Little Max, a good, like, Little Max, a perfect example of that. And when I say deconfirmed, I'm trying not to, I'm really trying not to be a dick. I'm just, I'm just saying how it is. So, like, as of right now, they're deconfirmed to be a fighter. Like, actual real like, fighter. Because Isaac was one of them, was supposed, according to that leak, was supposed to be one of them. I mean, even if you look historically at, like, old school, like, fighting games, like, if there was a fighting game character in the background, and you played as the character, they'd be erased from the background of that, like, oh, sprite. Oh, yeah. Well, that's true. So, like, you never know. <laughs> I mean, they could easily patch that in to not have that as a cis trophy when they have a certain character out. Oh, and that's... So I wouldn't, like... That's why I said, you... It's... That's why I said... That's why I just said, like, I say deconfirmed... I'm just messing around right now. I don't know where to be confirmed a whole year now or when Smash Bros. 10 comes out. I don't know. You know, but for now, I'm just saying they're deconfirmed. When I say deconfirmed, they're just, as of right now, they've just been become an assist trophy, which is fine because we got randomly the chick from Fatal Frame. Um, we got Guile, which I'm fine with. Guile is an assist trophy. And I love how he automatically turtles. He automatically turtles as oh soon as you goodness. summon him, which is hilarious. Um, were there any other standouts for you for assist trophies? I didn't write them down because people flacked me on the last Smash Direct I reacted to for like not focusing on the Direct. So um, I didn't write them down. I just wrote down new assist trophies. So there's quite a few. Um, there's quite there's returning ones. I know there's the Pawn game. There's the deconfirmation of Shadow. Um, even a me fighter, Ribbon Girl. Oh, the, oh. <laughs> damn, that was sad, man. At least Spring Man's his own character. No, no, if you want to play as Ribbon Girl, you have to create your own character. Hey, girl power, though. Girl power, though. <laughs> girl power. So, fight the power. Um, yeah, but... We 
nice batch of assist trophies overall. I mean, nothing too, like, over the top. A lot of expected. Like, I think I saw a custom Robo outfit. I saw... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, Chibi Robo. Yeah. They had a whole like, a couple more Fire Emblem characters as well. Chibi Robo was a Meat Fire costume, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm fine. You know, I'm always fine with assist trophies. I may bag on them, but I'm always fine with assist trophies. Because at least gets the character to fight in some form. Yeah. Like, Shovel Knight... Oh, yeah, Isaac, remember? Yeah, th that's why I brought up earlier. It was like, I Isaac was like... It's cool. They upgrade Isaacs because Isaac was just he pushed them. I remember that he was just he pushed them out of the ring. Here he pushes them and he slams his fist down on you, which is really nice. So it looks like the older ones they slightly upgrade for some assist trophies as well. Um, I think the pushing off the ring made sense in in that like you use that to solve puzzles by moving yeah. blocks and stuff. Yeah. So the additional assist trophies I like. I, overall, I think they're nice. And it looks like they're upgrading some of the older ones, which is fine. I just hope one day some of those get to go full time. You know, really do. Well, I don't know. Sakurai said that's his last Smash game. Now, now he does every time. Now, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't here majority of the next session after this trophy where he talked about the additional help stuff. But I did catch um, Language Selector. Um, language Selector is something I think everybody's been wanting. Like, not even just. See, because they had a language selector, but it was like for like just the basic, oh, you can read the menus in different languages and stuff. Here, they're fully incorporating like completely voice different acting. language, like voice acting, the languages, the English, like even the announcer's different, pretty much. Oh, the, the announcer pronounces everybody different now. And that's really cool because that's something a lot of fans have been wanting because like some other fighting games have, like Street Fighter has that, to where you can either readjust certain languages or have everybody speak English or everybody speak Japanese. Here, you do have everybody, and that's really cool. With the whole English uh, language system, pretty much. Hold on I... one second. <laughs> Hold that thought, I got it. Okay, uh, come on. Something I think uh, I'd like to see with the the language mode is to select be able to select different audios but then mm -hmm. like keep the language for reading mm -hmm. like I know some people they like to hear like the authentic Japanese um, voice acting yeah. but then like still be able to read the menus and stuff but as if you play it enough times I'm sure you'll remember where everything is anyway yeah, but that's that's a nice little nod. I, I thought I should write that down because that's really cool. I think it's something a lot of fans have been wanting, and that's, yeah, that's pretty yeah, neat. Uh -huh. A lot of my friends are, like, really big into voice acting, and uh, I've even seen some of my friends just, like, deselect a character and select a character just to hear, like... Yeah. Or spam it and being complete dick. <laughs> like, when, when they came out with the, the Wii game, yeah. it, like, if you had a Wiimote, it would, like, say it out of the controller. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so, yeah, language instructor, that's cool. Um, we got new media outfits, we just brought that up. This was like, yeah, custom robo, ribbon girl. Uh, looks like, um, uh, I can't think, uh, I think another fire, was it another fire? It went one by fire? so fast. Yeah, it went by so fast. Hey, these montages go by really quick. Um, but it's a whole new, oh, Splatoon 2 outfits, which is nice. Though, you think yeah. it would just been altered costumes for the English? Well, they had the Squid Sisters, too. As a no, was, yeah, well, they brought that up in Smash Ultimate, the the, the previous oh, direct right. before this one. They brought them up. Yeah, no, no, they brought that up all the way in the first E3 direct. <laughs> brought that up, uh, yeah, but new Mii outfits, eh, that's nice. I mean, I'm not, I don't usually use the Mii stuff that much. Same. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, pretty much. It's nice to have, though, as an option. Yeah, it's nice to see that they're still relevant. Means are still relevant somewhere. <laughs> so, you can uh, have it as your avatar and uh, on your Switch, so it's not like they're completely gone away. Oh yeah, no, that's true. Like I said, they're even more important now. That oh, remember me, Tomo? Oh my god! I don't remember me, Tomo, because I never <laughs> downloaded it. Because I knew, watch, this fat's gonna go out like that. What about happen like right. a few months later? <laughs> dead. Me, Tomo, dead. Um, okay, so next up we got the confirmation we've been expecting. I think a lot of fans expect thing is not only DLC but a season pass. So according to them, they will um, there will be characters coming out. I think it's about six bucks a pop, five to six bucks a pop. It comes with a character, a stage, and a, a, uh, a uh, some music with it. So we got 
what was it? They had showed six, right? No, six fighters, right? Six packs total, right? Thought it was five. It, no, it was five. Yeah, that's right. It was five packs total, pretty much. And so you, you can get them individually, or of course you can get them um, all part of Fighters Pass, which is like twenty-five bucks, which is like a about a five-dollar deal, like a five-dollar buck off deal, which is nice. And they were like, usually when we have like something like that we want to show what you're getting but mm. we don't want to show it early so just have faith on us please and i was like it was like it was, it was like please be patient and stuff <laughs> the, oh please be patient because they, they don't want to spoil it so like then we got some... kind of putting that blind faith that you'll like all those characters yeah then we got something really confusing because he says a free limited time offer and then shows piranha plant <laughs> as a new fighter that was the most bamboozling part of the whole drama. oh no that was that was <laughs> Your in your words, I felt really most cold. bamboozling. So okay, so what he said was that it's available within a couple months, but if you um limited time, limited time, and if you Free. and yeah, and if you pre-purchase the game, you get them or was it? It was hard to see that screen. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up <laughs> later. But um, yeah, for a sound of it, it sounds like pretty much like a pre-order bonus, more or less. Like you get the game now. And then later, you're promised a, f a free Piranha Plant fighter. But I believe they said, it's as of right now, it's only available It's only available to you if you pre-order or pre-purchase the game. I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, what do you think about the character? If we're going to ignore the fact that he's more or less a pre-order bonus, what do you think about Piranha Plant? I, 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 I thought it was so ridiculous, but the more I looked at it, the more I was like a little more accepting of it. I thought it's really ridiculous, but if you look at like other people on the the roster, like even the duck hunt, hunt the duck hunt dog, like that's kind of ridiculous. But I <laughs> I was just not as I was not expecting it, especially when they said, "Okay, these are the last two characters." That's it. I didn't believe him for a second. I I, I assumed DLC, like, like, but I was he nowhere no, near he, expecting. He not only confirmed Piranha Plant, but then said five more fighters are underway. So I'm like, see, he was lying at the beginning, technically. Well, he said that's all for now. Yeah, see, that's where you got to listen. Semantics. <laughs> yeah, semantics. You have to listen, because if you don't listen, you're going to get fooled by a Piranha Plant. Even, I, even the last game had DLC. I think he's fine. Piranha Plant's fine. They've he's we've, cute though. We've had absurd. He like hides in his little pipe. That's like, I think he's like <laughs> you know what like Game of Watch like each game has like absurd character like a yeah. random surreal character. Japan like, loves the absurd. Yeah, like Game of Watch was one of them. So like I'm not surprised that Piranha Plant is a character. You know, because you need that more oddball character, and Piranha Plant is definitely that oddball character. It's literally a plant, an enemy plant in a pot or a pipe from the looks of it <laughs> that comes in and attacks you in a fight. It's so cute and feisty. I'll give it one thing. Is it from Pet Cemetery? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'll give it one thing. It has the range, though. I'll give it one thing. It has the range from the looks of it. It's so cute. Yeah, but as of right now, as far as I know with the Piranha Plant, I think you have to get the game. You have to make sure to get the game now. Um, either pre-purchasing or through the, the gold point system on my Nintendo. They want you to register so they can yeah. have iron grip on your wallet. I'm kidding. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you're, yeah, you're right. But um, that's what they're doing. I think that's what they're doing is they're in iron grip. Yeah, like what you said, iron grip. Um, but I, I like Piranha Plant, but I'm, I'm kind of weird out by how exactly do you get them? I, like, I was paying attention. Wait, wait, we can look it up. We'll look it up. At some point. Yeah, we'll look it up later. Um, There's and just too much going on. Yeah, and of course, finally, they unveiled, yes, the game will have an adventure mode. Uh, yes. called Called World of Light. This is, um, I guess, a continuation of the characters from Brawl, where now a gazillion master hands show up with a brand new, well, appears to be a new um, taboo, and he wipes them out, all out, except for Kirby. Kirby manages to go so fast. Or get, teleport. Teleports go so fast into the future. Like Superman did that once in a movie. Um, and he winds back up there and now has to save everybody from this new ent evil entity. So yeah, it's pretty much just the game. This is the one incorporating spirits. 
and all special stuff you have to do in clean fighting them. I have no doubt it's going to have a special final boss fight, and that will be really, really irritating. I remember in Brawl, no matter what difficulty you play on, that thing was a fucking pain in the ass. Um, but I like that. That's really cool. There. I ain't never had trouble. And the song has lyrics now. The ultimate theme has lyrics now. Like, you ready to do a cover? No. Um, <laughs> uh, and that's nice. I think that's pretty cool. We'll see how many actual 3D cutscenes are in it. CG cutscenes. Because we saw the opening one. And I saw a couple shots. But we didn't see any during when they were showing the different um, worlds. Different areas you go to. Well, that's what he doesn't like. is spoiling the cutscene. So I think there's going to be an opening cutscene. And then there's going to be a final one after you beat the final boss. At most. To be honest, yeah. And that was it. That was the um, Smash Ultimate Final Direct before the game's launch. Um, yeah, it was pretty much just going over every, the remaining stuff we needed to know before the game's release. That's it. Um, there was stuff I liked, like um, Cannon and Cineroar. There was stuff I... Um, Good choices. There was some stuff that I didn't like. Like, I'm still not entirely behind the Spirits mode. Um... And, um, like I said, a part of me still is going to miss the collectible trophies. And the confusion with how Piranha Plant works, I have to look that up later. Um, but there's stuff I did like. It tackled everything I wanted to know. So, online mode is pretty standard, um, fighting game online mode. Um, more game, more fighters coming. Not real right now, he said by the end of the next year we should have all of them. They should spread it out, because then it, it keeps people having have an incentive to play not that they need one but like um yeah the language selector is really cool the smack um elite uh was like the whole online battle system is cool um yeah and all the features are coming including like like i said ken and Sonora. those are my main like highlights where ken and Sonora, being real pro plant was just out of nowhere for me so <laughs> i was so nervous <laughs> uh what were things you liked from this direct I'm really curious about that spirits uh, aspect mm -hmm. and how that will go into the adventure mode. I think my number one thing I'm most excited for is the adventure mode. And I'll probably try and tackle that first because spoilers on the internet ruins everything. But like, I've been waiting for an adventure mode again. And finally, Sakurai really did give us everything. Thank you. <laughs> so, what, so what did you think of this story? I know that's really cool. I mean, I, I honestly agree. What did you think of this story overall? Did you give you everything you needed to know? I mean, something free said. Did you give you everything you need, you wanted to know, or like were curious about? At first, like I'd say I was a little bit disappointed because two felt like not enough for like a you know, finale kind of thing. You would think for, like, the final direct that they would go out with, like, a really big bang and a lot of characters and stuff. But the more I thought about it, the more I was like, yeah, this is good. And, like, the DLC, like, uh, ends on some hope that there'll be some more characters. Yeah. I mean, it's... really looking forward to. I mean, what is it? Smash Wii U had, what, like... Three. Oh, let's see. So you got so Bay you got Bayonetta. Mewtwo. Mewtwo, Bayonetta. Cloud. Cloud. Wait, was Cloud? Yeah, Cloud was DLC. Remember. Cloud was DLC character for um, Wii U and 3DS. Yeah, we got about yeah, we got three additional. I can't think of any else off the top of my head. Yeah, Bayonetta was the last one. So yeah, there was we got three pretty much three DLC fighters. Hmm. We got three DLC fighters. I think I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think yeah, that's it. Here we're getting five. Oh no! Yeah. Wait. Yeah. See, this is the part where Prime Plan is confusing because are we getting five? Five and a half. Five and a half. They or... said limited time, so it's like five and a half. Five. So we're getting about six. If we're clean, if we're not clean, Prime Plan as part of that Fighters Pass, we're getting five. If we're clean, Prime Plan, we're getting six. So good lord, sucker. Like don't be. It's like. Uh, I was like, oh no, not enough characters. And then so, it's like, you don't gotta be that greedy. There's more coming. So yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot more crossover characters. Um, a lot more we're not expecting. So Banjo could still be a possibility, to be honest. Um, well, Isaac well, could be a, a, Isaac could be promoted to an actual fighter. You know, like, if you think about it, like, uh, with Cloud being Final Fantasy, yeah. you know, Square property that. That banjo thing is like really. 
There's Sora, Sora, from, <laughs> Sora from Kingdom Hearts could still be one. Um, oh I, man, that would I be I mean, great. They, they, are, they have a partnership with Square Enix in regards to Cloud. Maybe they'll extend that partnership. Uh, Sora okay. could be another one. On the um, other hand, like licensing could still be a nightmare because yeah. they already have enough hurdles to go through. I don't even know how they got Snake again. Like They're like, don't worry, we'll print money. And they'll be like, okay, here's Snake. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, so there was like that gap, you know. Yeah, uh, Goku. I um, I brought Goku. No, no, hear me out. I'm not like fanboying it. My 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 thoughts are like Nintendo already has a partnership with Bandai Namco, the guys who helped them do Wii U and 3DS ones. So and don't forget who technically owns the rights to do video game Dragon Ball Z fight, fighting games is Bandai Bandai Namco. Well, the reason why I who has a license. Sorry, nobody has a license for it. The reason why I laugh is if it's. It seems absurd to me. I know he's been in video games, but to me, he's like more of like, almost like an anime character. Well, not almost, but what I'm trying to say is like, I see him more as anime and like, Smash Brothers is more video game. Like, yeah, but mainly here's, video game here, characters. Here, here's where so I go. that's why it seems so like absurd to me, even here, though he's a legit video game character. Here, here's, where, where, here's my counter argument. All GRPGs are anime. I've been playing Kingdom, through Kingdom Hearts 2 again. Every world is an episode of an anime, a filler episode of an anime. I thought it was like Disney stuff. No, no, no. Why? Listen, listen. <laughs> what I mean is, our main characters are, every world is kind of its own episode in a way of an anime. And that's what most JRPGs are, is like, it's the, it's a video game form of an anime in some retrospect, if it, even if it's not related to an anime. You have all the stereotypes from anime in most JRPGs now and then. And that's why I'm. That's where I'm saying like, I agree with you, but like, it shouldn't be impossible for Goku to show up here. And I'm, I will eat my hat. <laughs> I don't want you to eat your hat. I don't want you to eat your hat because then Kent will kill me because I made you made this stupid bet, but you'll blame me. Um, <laughs> but um, no, that's my. That's why I'm trying to be like actually serious about it. like I'm not. I'm not fanboy. Oh my god, Goku be so cool. You know, come in. It just no, seems so left field. It feels like it's possible. No, I'm not saying it's not all left field. I'm just saying there is a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I'm saying there is a possibility. That's why I have, still have that tiny hope with Sora being in Smash Bros. game. Because of that... Sora, I of that, that makes more sense, though. Because of that connection with Kingdom Hearts. Well, I say Sora's a tiny more because Disney's a part of that deal. And oh, last time I checked, license. you don't see Mickey showing up in this shit, you know. So that's why that's Sora's weird. a tiny bit below the list for me. And Goku's a better, more of a possibility. Put Goku in everything. I think he's already had enough. But honestly, put I, Negan for Walking Dead. I won't be surprised. Oh my God! Whoa, that whoa. happened. I was like, who? Anybody, was there? Is there anybody else you're expecting? Um, I think right as of right now, like it's kind of cliche, but like Banjo is probably my biggest hope. At the moment. Banjo. Yeah, I like old school games. Although, like, N64 isn't too old school, but, like... Yeah, Banjo... Yeah, Banjo would be on would be probably on top of my list. It's not impossible. Um, the head of Xbox has said he would he would love for Banjo to show up. Um, it's not... Yeah, it's not impossible, like... It's not the nuts and bolts like, version. Like, you know, Pete, the guys <laughs> at Wait Forward want Shantae... Voted for Shantae. Oh my god. And I bet she's a sp now a spirit sticker. Um, I would have loved Shovel Knight. When they had that poll where you could vote a fighter, mm -hmm. I voted for Shovel Knight. Um, I don't know who I voted for. I, hon I honestly don't remember. It was that long ago. Um, I know it wasn't some mean, like, people were voting Hank Hill and shit. Um, but, yeah, I, I would agree with you on Banjo. I think he's a character that deserves it. He... His last it would be actual very interesting. banjo, his banjo three more or less was wasn't very good. It would be Nothing a nice, re both. it would be a nice, it would honestly be a nice return to form for him. There, uh, there um, apparently there has some web the Nintendo websites are touting um some certain rare games, including banjo. I believe banjo being one of them. Not all rare games, but certain rare games like Nintendo knows, like banjo being one of them. And there hasn't been talk about that at all. And I, I just heard about that a couple of days ago. So having Banjo in it could be a possibility. And he's on the top of my list. If I had a rank from the three we were talking about, least likely would be Sora. 
because of, like I said, Disney and Square Enix's thing. Um, bit more likely, but doubt it would be Goku because it was licensing with Bandai Namco and Bandai Namco's connection to How Labs and Nintendo with Smash for Wii U 3DS. And Banjo, I see more and more likely. Um, it's not, it's, he's not the impossible character. He's very possible. People what companies have agreed to that. Licensing issues can be worked out. Don't forget, like, Microsoft owns Rare. So, I mean, right there. And if you're the head of Xbox, is saying, telling the Rare guys, yeah, I don't mind. It's a strong possibility. I think what would be really interesting is to see, like, third-party characters that aren't Nintendo IPs. That would be interesting to see how they would interpret them. Like, if you want to go really left field, I would say maybe Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I don't think Crash. No. I don't think no, no. I'm being honest. I don't think Crash, um, may, Crash or Spyro. To be honest, um, I think they're yeah. Uh, they're, they're, they got an iron grip on like, them, but like, like it'd be fun. Like okay, to be <laughs> honest, Crash just got the Insane Trilogy this year. It'd be a good way to promote it, eh? But yeah. then, but then Spyro. No, but here's the thing though. Spyro Reignite Trilogy. It still hasn't been announced for Switch, though there's been multiple sources confirming. That'd be that. a good way to announce it. No, um, I doubt no. it. I honestly, I honestly doubt it. Um, it really depends. Re honestly, I know Toys for Bob and Activision are the ones who essentially have worked on the Spyro series, and so it's thin That's why Crash I said as well. far left field. It's like nice to like imagine these things. Like if Crash, and you've seen like different like crazy mods where they put in like all but kinds I, of characters. Honestly. I don't see Crash. I really don't. As much as I would love it, it'd it's be interesting. I understand that it probably won't happen, but it would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, and that's all we got um, for you guys um, today. Um, just want to leave. I, I'm gonna probably put a pre-video before I need to start. I just want to leave a quick apology to any um, video issues, buffering issues, um, video editing issues we you may see throughout. Um, we apologize for that. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a pre video up. This is just me apologizing now. Just do it twice in a row. I'm apologizing now. Apologies. Um, I, we were supposed to have this set up like how we have all. If anybody keeps up for SRB TV videos, how, we're supposed to have it set up like we always have it set up. The problem is the laptop setup I wanted. There was heavy frame rate issues, and I couldn't figure them out. And I had to switch over to having a standard laptop. Um, viewing, but then that video display was acting up, so we had to resort to your phone, mobile phone, and my mobile phone as well to watch it. So, and even the camera angle is a bit janky because it was very last minute switch. Once again, apologies about that. I apologize for any like video editing issues you may see. This my brother's gonna do the best to his abilities of fixing any any and all things relevant um, relevant to the video issues. But for the most part, we got. All of it. Um, we had like a couple buffer issues in the beginning and a couple buffer issues near the end. So with that being said, um, other than all of that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about uh, video games in general, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. And where can they reach you, Nancy? Oh, they can reach me at <laughs> Stellar Nan on almost everything. So what exactly is Stellar Nan for those who don't know? Or, go. Uh, on my YouTube channel, Stellar Nan, I make a lot of different video game crafts and uh, tutorials. Cool. No, no, that, that's really cool. Sorry. It, it's, <laughs> that's really cool. It, she does have some really cool stuff to check out. I would highly recommend um, taking a look at all that. Um, my last video, I set a pumpkin on fire. See, there you go. She set <laughs> pumpkins on fire in her apartment. So, um, yeah. So, check her stuff out. Um, we'll have the links down below in the description as well as on, I believe, on the screen as well. No, no. We'll have it in the description below. So, on the next episode of um, SRB TV, um, this will come be coming out after our Daredevil Season 3 finale reaction. So, this will be coming out. So, I believe in our next one is going to be, as far as it's going to be me, is the X018 Inside Xbox special being live streamed. It's gonna have they prefer to me have announcements, so look forward to that. Uh, it's either gonna be me or me and my brother. So until next time though, I am Kristen. I'm still in it. And this has been a very smash filled episode of SRB TV. So I will see you later. Bye! Bye. Bye. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.